and you guys saw the preview at the beginning and I actually did put a preview this time on like the last tutorial. I do apologize about that, I just somehow forgot, it slipped my mind last minute while I was putting the video together, forgot to put the preview in the beginning like an idiot. But anyways, we're going to be doing a tutorial on this cracked text and I used it in Spades introducing to Team Caliber, so if you guys missed that, definitely go check it out. It's a pretty sick introducing video to one of my first videos, or my first edit in the team. So, how you guys want to start this off? is you want to go up here I think yep and click text right and this can work with other things too but I'm just going to do a tutorial on the text so now see we have this text here I'm just going to do this text and call this crack and not that type of crack guys I'm talking about cracked text if okay okay good so uh, I want to do a different font just because I don't, I don't really like this font somehow so we can change the font by going to the font panel right here once this loads, we can actually select something. Come on. Okay, sweet. Um, let's go. Let's go Helvetica, just because. So we got this cracked text, and how we extrude it, which is making it like outwards, if that makes sense. We want to go to an extrude nerves, and drag the text underneath that. So now it's extruded. And don't worry about the textures, because as you guys can see, it's pretty boring. It's just black, or it's just gray text. There's nothing too interesting about it. But don't worry, because we can do all that later when we actually jump into After Effects. So, last thing we're gonna need to do in uh, Cinema 4D is take the plugin called Throwsy, and you guys are going to need this. So it's really, really easy to get. I suggest you guys get it. You can get it for Mac and easy, or Mac and Windows. Really, really easy for Cinema 4D. All you guys gotta do is a quick Google search. So. Um, I suggest doing about 10 pieces per letter, so 10 pieces per letter, that's how it all works, and just click break now. So pretty much what this will do is break up each letter into 10 pieces, so it'll look pretty nice. And then it'll reassemble it all so it looks nice, but when, then, when you crack it apart, then it's actually good. So anyways, you have these 5 things with 10 pieces in each one. So. Now that we have this text and it's all cracked up good, we can just go File, Export, and you guys have to export it as a Wavefront OBJ. So I'm just going to, um, I'll just put this in some random file. Let's just put it in here, just because. So we'll call this Cracked Text Tut. So you guys are going to want to save that wherever you want to, it doesn't really matter. Now we get to jump over into After Effects, right? So just start up a new thing, call this new comp. I don't know, call this like the video because you're a cool guy, so you should do that. Anyways, create a new solid, call this element. And this is how we gotta do it. Jump over to our infects and presets window, search up elements. Sorry if this is going a bit fast by the way guys. Um also I I'm actually or actually I'll, I'll talk about it in a different commentary, but you guys will understand soon what's all going on. But no it's nothing too major, don't worry. But anyways, you guys don't have to select anything here. Let's just jump into the scene setup and get everything sorted out. So we can import our text, and because it's an OBJ file, it'll work all great with Element, because Element loves OBJs. So craft text to touch, just import that. And now, as you can see, if it loads, once it, yeah, we got this text, and it's not textured. So we're gonna have to texture it in here. Uh, first thing you guys wanna do is click Invert Normals, or Auto Normals, just so you can get these cool shadows and stuff. Actually, Ertl showed me that, so Ertl, if you're watching this, shout out to you, thank you very much. I would never have known how to do that, <laughs> which is pretty embarrassing, but, you know, whatever. I'm just going to choose a preset pro shader, which is a pack for Element 3D. If you guys don't have it, you should get it. It's pretty swaggy. Let's just choose brushed metal. You guys can choose anything. doesn't really matter. Now you get this cool texture. Also, another thing, now that we have, since all the pieces are cracked, it textures it based on each piece. So, how you guys want to fix that is go down to uh, the material, oh, actually just the object, and click texture mapping and do this box preserve aspect ratio. So now, if it doesn't even look like it changed anything. UV, box, sphere, and it was back when we actually go into our comp, this is what you guys want to pick because it will look the best because you won't see any of these pieces and it looks all weird and that does actually look pretty sexy right now but it look a lot better once in our actual comp so don't worry anyways just click ok hopefully element doesn't crash on me I don't think it did okay good so now as you can see you can see this text and it's kinda hard to see because it's black but how we can fix that just put a light in and element 3d works very well with lights oh, I guess the box thing didn't actually work 
That sucks. But anyways, because the text actually doesn't even look that bad. But anyways, when you click box for serve aspect ratio, the texture should just align properly with the text and you shouldn't have any problems like I am right now. But if you are, then, you know, unfortunately, there's nothing much I can do to help you out. So I'm just going to do a simple keyframe of the key of the light at the end of the comp. Let's move it over here. Just because now we get this cool animation of the lighting. So how we actually do the cracking of the text in group one, which is the group we set the text to. Like, let me just show you. See, it's on group one. So you can just set, set that to any group. But in this case, we're doing group one. Basically, you can just move this around all good. But how you do the cracking is go into particle look, click multi object. So now element is going to affect every object separately. And because it's split into what 50 different objects, 10 for each letter, we can mess with each one. So we can scatter it in the Y which is a really cool effect, which will basically just displace it up and down. Um, a couple of my favorite to use are just rotate random. I would go like 15 degrees for this. This looks really cool, because now the light is reflecting off of the off of the object in different directions. So it's looking pretty nice. You can scatter it, just scatter it like this, which looks really cool. You could even do a cool animation at the end. and. Also, another thing you guys always want to mess around with is depth of field because depth of field will always make your comp look 10 times better. If you guys ever are seeing something and it's looking bland, trust me, add depth of field. So we're just going to move our camera, maybe move it in a bit. Let's just go like something simple. It doesn't have to be too complex. Simple stuff looks good, guys. I can guarantee you that. Trust me on that. So we can just do something uh, let's move the camera over like this maybe it's rotated a bit much go back over like this anyways I'm just being a perfectionist right now don't mind me so we have this text right let's maybe make the uh, let's first of all unkey for in this because I'm not going to be rendering this so it doesn't really matter come on element work with me here come on Oh god. Alright, I'm sorry guys, this is just being kind of weird. Anyways, that looks good enough for now. We can also add an ambient light, which will basically just lighten everything up a little bit so it's not completely dark. We can make the ambient light like 20%. So now, as you can see, I didn't even do that much. So we can click T, turn up the intensity, let's make that like 50. That's a bit better. So, now I just want to move this back over to the center. Like, again, me being a perfectionist. Don't mind me. But, now, like I was talking about, click AA for the camera settings, camera options. So, I'm just going to click, or not click, but I'm just going to drag this. And turn the aperture really high, because, um, okay, how can I explain this? Because the text, there isn't a lot of difference, like, all of it's pretty much in the same kind of area. You want to turn the aperture really high, like maybe even 100. And you'd never do this in an actual comp. But just because all the text is really close, then it'll create lots of contrast. Like, and two elements that are fairly close together, one will be blurred, one won't. And that's kind of hard to describe. I didn't explain it very well. But I hope you guys can kind of get the points. Maybe we even need like 300. All right, that's looking a bit nicer. Anyways, you guys get the basic point. You guys just wanna mess around with the settings inside of elements, like rotation. You can even rotate it in the Y. Maybe like negative 10 might look nice. Negative five, let's try. <laughs> Positive five, I don't even know. You guys just wanna mess around with whatever looks nice. It doesn't really matter, displays looks kinda cool. If you guys do it right pretty nice anyways that's about the end of this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did make sure to throw in a comment on what you guys would like to see because i got three days to make a bunch of videos because i'm going on vacation and um i gotta get i actually have so much to do i gotta make 12 videos for every single day i'm going to be away plus finish up my store rc so i'm do i'm pretty crazy so leave me a comment on a quick um and easy effects i could do it as a tutorial would be greatly helpful so make sure you guys do that as always leave a like if you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and have a great day bye